One of the micronutrients that's gotten a lot of talk here in the press over the last few years has been manganese. A lot of people have been saying, you know what, Roundup is hurting the uptake of manganese in the crop. Uh, we don't believe that at all. We've run a whole bunch of tests. We have not found that to be true at all. No way, no how. But here's what we have found. Almost every farmer in the country is short on manganese. We're looking at 20 to 40 parts per million on manganese. That's what you need as a minimum on your farm. So test your soil, find out what you've got. All right, let's dig into this manganese because you're probably saying, manganese, come on guys, that can't make that much of a difference. So I'll give you an example. Uh, last year I was walking with Neil Kinsey, well-respected fertility expert around the world. And we're walking by these plots on our field day site where we're taking the first steps towards higher yield. So we've got a bunch of guys, some of the best farmers in the world, trying to do everything they can to that soil to, to get it to a high yield level as quickly as possible. Well, we're walking by the plots and Neil said, boy, you must be short in manganese out here. And I said, what? How, how do you know that without taking a, a soil test? Do you see something on the plants or what are you seeing? He's like, no, I can see that your emergence is a little uneven throughout the field. And one thing that manganese helps with is emergence. He said, really, by the, by the looks of things, I'd say you're probably single digits in manganese. Well, yeah, but when he said the emergence thing, that was late in the season. So how did he know that it was an emergence problem? Well, you can see certainly about where the ear height is and you can see, wow, this plant is bigger than that plant uh, right in the row. Uh, so you can go right down the row and see an unevenness in height, unevenness in ear height, unevenness in stalk diameter, uh, and, and it just kind of gave them a clue that we were short in manganese, which we were. And many of the guys in the plots were applying large amounts of manganese to try to bring those levels up, but sometimes, depending on what form of micronutrient you put out, it may take a little longer to get those things available. Okay, a couple other things. One, manganese is really important in standability. So if you're having issues with lodging, Yes, I definitely look at potassium, but maybe you got the potassium in line. It could be a micronutrient like manganese that could be responsible for a lack of standability. And the other thing with manganese is disease tolerance. This year was a pretty good white mold year in much of the northern U.S. So we had a lot of guys with soybeans that had trouble with, with white mold. And all of a sudden, you know, there were some fields here and there that didn't have much white mold and everything around them did, even the same varieties. And guys started digging into this a little bit. Man, why doesn't this farm have white mold pressure? We looked at planting date, variety selection, all those things. And it came down to manganese levels in the soil where we had high levels of manganese. We had much less incidence of sclerotinia white mold. Okay, in terms of how you put this manganese on, there are a lot of different forms, liquid, dry. We're using a lot of manganese sulfate on our farm. That's the dry, but unfortunately, it might take two or three years before that really fully comes available. So what we would recommend, if you're way low on manganese, sure, you can go with the cheap form manganese sulfate to do a bunch of the work, but I'd also consider using a manganese chelate around planting time and maybe do some foliar feeding as well. Well, manganese is certainly important, and we're not saying, hey, everybody needs to apply manganese. What we are saying is you do need to test for it because it's one of those things that on most soil tests that we're looking at, guys don't even look for manganese. If they're looking at any micronutrients, it might be zinc, but, but they're not looking at the manganese, and it doesn't really cost much more to run a soil sample that has these micronutrient levels. Make sure that you're checking, and then look in season as well, because sometimes things get out of balance in your soil, and they may restrict the uptake of a certain micronutrient. So do some plant tissue analysis, at least in a couple spots on your farm throughout the season, to see what you're getting into your plant. Yeah, we have had it before where we've been short on potassium. We applied a whole bunch of potassium and now it made the manganese more available. So there are a lot of different interactions in your soil. So it's important to soil test. And again, 20 to 40 parts per million on the Midwest Labs test, that's what we're looking for. And then in addition to that, run some plant tissue analysis later in the year. Well, on your farm this year, definitely watch the manganese levels because it could make a big impact on how your crop does. One other thing that will make a big impact on your crop and your profitability is weed control. Can you identify this week's Weed of the Week?